to Tabletop CP, and today we're heading back to the Ardennes, 1944, for another game of Bolt Action. Today's game is going to be another teaching game. Uh, my good buddy Mike, who I've known since junior high, which was uh, ages ago, uh, he's here and he wants to learn how to play Bolt Action. So he's uh, new, new to tabletop games and new to historical wargaming in general. So we're going to do another teaching game, hence the 4x4 board. So we'll talk about the terrain real quick. As you can see, we've got a new mat, and this is the Nordic Winter Mat by uh, Cigar Box. Um, Corey was nice enough to send this to me when he found out that we were going to be starting doing winter stuff. And he sent it to us, and I was going to use it as the base for our all of our winter builds that we're going to be starting. And then, uh, sadly, our local gaming store, the Ogre's Den, uh, is closing down. And uh, the owner, Joe, was nice enough to gift me with a bunch of his winter terrain that he had at the store. So between the mat and the stuff that Joe gave me, we've got now a legit uh, winter board. And it a lot faster than I had uh, anticipated it happening. Other than the new Nordic mat uh, and the buildings are all going to be hardcover. Uh, the, there's going to be some dense terrain here, dense terrain here, dense terrain back there. Uh, there's a few rock piles around. These are just going to be hardcover and probably block line site for infantry. And then the last two pieces of terrain that will be on the uh, that will feature is these two two craters, and they're just going to be soft cover uh, if you're inside of them. And that's pretty much it for oh, I guess ruins. So we do have quite a few ruins. Uh, this is a ruin. This is a ruin, and that's a ruin. And so are the anything that looks destroyed is going to be a ruin. These are not going to be dense terrain. We're going to be able to see through them, but they will provide hard cover. So let's go ahead and talk about the mission. Mission for tonight's game will be Heartbreak Ridge by uh, Bolt Action Alliance. We play this mission all the time. Uh, it never gets old though. It's a great mission. It's very well designed. It leads to a lot of movement. It used, leads to a lot of the board being used. And it's an objective based game. Uh, so kill points are, are one way to play. And that's I think we did the last learning game we did kill points. But I think objective based games like this one which are simple and fast paced are a good uh, beginner's uh, mission as well. So Heartbreak Ridge, uh, it's going to have one objective in the center, and then we're going to roll off and see who picks table quarters. We'll each place a objective in our table quarter, and the middle objective is worth one point to both of us, and the enemy objective is worth two points. Your own objective is worth none, but you have to still defend it. Uh, Deployment-wise, we're each going to be able to deploy an infantry and an artillery within our table quarter, or two infantry, and then the rest of the stuff will be coming in... Um, from reserve. Not all of it. Not all of it will be coming from reserve. Uh, half of what's left will be coming in first wave and then the rest will be coming in from reserve. Uh, other than that, the objective is just to have the most objectives at the end of the game. Whoever has that is the winner. So let's go ahead and talk about the forces. So we'll begin with the American force. Uh, these are going to be small forces as a beginner game, a uh, teaching game should be. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, 779 points and 7 order dice. So everything is going to be regular. And it's going to be commanded by a first lieutenant and man. They're both going to have carbines. We're going to have three identical infantry squads. There are going to be 11 men, eight Garands, two BARs, and an SMG uh, squad leader. And their Americans are going to have one medium mortar with spotter. They're going to have a 57 millimeter AT gun. And then lastly, they're going to have a Sherman, and it's going to have a machine gun, uh, extra machine gun on top. Uh, medium machine gun and that is it. That's the American force And then on this side we're gonna have the German force. So this is also 779 points and seven order dice So identical in order dice and points and everything again will be regular on this side. We're gonna have a Second lieutenant uh, with man. They're both gonna have SMGs We're gonna have three identical uh, here grenadier squads and each one is gonna have a SMG sergeant two assault rifles an MG team and then two Panzerfausts and then we're going to have one uh, medium machine gun we got a light howitzer and then lastly we have the Panzer IV with the uh, side skirts on it and that is the German force so let's go ahead and uh, get started with the game all right so Mike is going to be the Americans and he's going to be deploying in that table quarter He's put his objective right there behind that haystack, and he's deployed one infantry a squad there, and he's deployed his AT gun there along the edge. And I'm in this table quarter. My, my objective is here. I've placed my light howitzer in this building, or in these ruins here, and then I put a squad of infantry 
in these trays here. And that'll do it for the deployment. So you got any questions about that? No. Nope. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started. So we've uh, we've determined our first wave. So Mike's going to have his Sherman, the mortar, and the officer coming in as his first wave, which leaves two squads coming in reserve. And then my first wave is going to be the Panzer IV, my MG42 on tripod, and then a squad. And Mike will be bag man. And go ahead and pull the first die. And that is Americans. Sherman is driven in there, uh, nine, and he has gained line of sight to this squad here. So you have a main gun, you can fire the cannon, or you have a coax, coax machine gun or cannon, you have to choose. But you also have the whole gun and then you have a medium machine gun on top. So I think there's some dice in that uh, cup there. So go ahead and gather the dice. You're going to get uh, five dice for the, each machine gun and one dice for the main gun if you choose to fire it. He's going to have the cannon fire and then he's going to fire the whole gun first. So the cannon, so you're always starting on a three. That's your base to hit. You moved, which means you're going to be a four to hit. And I'm in soft cover, which means a five to hit. And then the, so let's do the cannon first. So I'm needing a five. Oh, it's a hit. Okay, so the cannon's going to hit. I should have went down. All right, so uh, the machine gun is going to need sixes because you moved. You're in long range as well and I'm in soft cover. So roll your five machine gun shots. Even sixes. Oh, he got two sixes. Okay. Okay. Roll another one. Uh, you got one more machine gun on top if you choose to fire it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and fire it. Okay. So go ahead and roll these again. So you got two so far. All right. So it's two hits with the machine gun and one with the cannon. So we'll get the template and we'll figure out how many guys are hit. So a uh, machine or a main gun of a tank or any kind of cannon really, even your AT gun uh, will have a uh, HE. So it's got a high explosive shell or an anti-tank shell. And they're all different sizes based on the size of the gun. So you got a one inch, which would be like the inside of this, a two inch, which would be the outside, a three inch, which would be the inside of this outer circle, and then a four inch. That's a uh, medium AT gun, which is normally a one inch, but Germans have special rule where they have a two inch template. So what you do is you just take this template and you put it over the squad and you try to get as many guys under it as you can. And that's how many guys are going to be hit. So you get, it looks like four guys are going to be hit with the HE. So give you four dice. And these guys are regular. So they would normally roll every, every four you roll to be a dead guy with the HE has a plus two to that so instead of killing me on fours you're going to be killing me on twos so any two you roll would be a dead dude go ahead and roll all those so that's three dead okay and then you have the two machine gun as well and those are going to need fours because they don't have an he or any kind of penetration bonus so one more okay so that's uh four dead okay now uh, when you were talking about pins earlier, remember I was talking about those pins? Uh, so you would, they would get a pin for getting hit, but since they got hit with the HE shell, they're going to take more than one pin. So roll this again, and it's called D3. So it's essentially 1, 2 is one pin, 3, 4 is two pins, and 5, 6 would be three pins. So it's going to be one pin. So I lost four guys. And I'm going to take one pin, so we'll sort that out. So I've taken my four guys out. Um, I'm actually going to have to take a morale test. So if you lose half of your squad in one round of shooting, like to one unit, like a Sherman or an infantry squad, you have to take a morale test to see if they stick around. Because they might be so scared by that shell exploding and all the machine gun bullets coming in that they take off. So they're uh, regulars, so they're a nine. Two, on two die six, I have to roll a nine or less and then minus any pin. So I only got the one pin luckily. So I need an eight or less on these two dice or they run off. Now uh, they're running off. They rolled the 10. So you destroyed the squad with one round of shooting from the Sherman. So yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, so that squad is toast. Uh, so you can pull their dice out of the bag since they're no longer part of this uh, battle. They will not have a dice anymore. So a very effective uh, first round of shooting for the Sherman. You can just throw it there. All right. All right. So go ahead and pull the next one. How many dice? 
Uh, just one. Just one. Yeah. Yeah, just one for a squad. So go ahead and pull another one, and this will be for the next. Who goes next? And Americans again. So you get to go again. Has just moved that uh, advanced that squad up from behind the haystack up towards the uh, ruins and towards the center objective. Next die. That's the Germans. Hmm. So I'm gonna have this. Uh, my light howitzer is gonna fire at that squad that just moved up. So these light howitzers can fire direct fire. That means I can just shoot over the open sights, but it would then I would have to account for any kind of cover. So you would be in some cover if I shot it through here. It'd also be long range, so I need a six to hit you um, if I fired direct. You can also fire indirect, so overhead. Uh, but if, when you fire indirect, you're always hitting on a six to start. And then every time subsequent turn that the target hasn't moved that you fire at that same target, it drops by one. So like if I roll the six, or uh, you know, if I don't roll six now, Next turn, if you don't move, I could roll a five. And then after that, four, three. So it's easier to hit the targets as you range in on it. But I'm assuming they're going to move. Um, but I'll still try to get a lucky shot. So I need a six here. No, it's a five. So that is a miss. So next turn, if I get the first die or you for some reason don't move, I'll hit you on a five. So next die. Americans again. Yep. American mortar has uh, run in here behind the haystack. And then the spotter has come in over here. So the mortars, they can fire, in, they're, they're only in direct fire. They're not like a howitzer that can fire direct or indirect. They're always indirect. Um, but he can shoot at anything he can see directly, any of the crew. And remember, these aren't blocking line of sight. So he can see all of this. Uh, he's got a blind spot up through here. Uh, but he brought his spotter in over here and his spotter can call in fire from the mortar over there on anything He can see over here. So the dense terrain you can't see through dense terrain uh, That would be these trees any of these patches of trees are going to be block your line of sight So if I had guys back here, you wouldn't be able to see them with the spotter, but you could probably still see them with that mortar uh, These are not going to be dense terrain. So uh, mortars come in next day And that's the Germans again. I brought my machine gun on. I ran him up to here. And now that my squad guarding the objective is destroyed, I'm gonna to have to have my machine gun come up and, pull and perform that same job. So next die. Yeah, it's too bad about that squad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Germans again. So this squad, I brought in my first wave squad. It's gonna to try to get up in here. And I just mentioned to Mike, we're actually supposed to put these dice down onto the things that have activated. And you're supposed to put them on whatever order you gave them. Rarely do we do that, but for now we'll do it. It's just to keep track of who's gone and what they did. So he went, your Sherman advanced. I think you, that's, I think you might have went over too far now that I think about it. Nine inches? Is that nine from the yeah. edge? Okay. Oh, well, I've been a little too far. All right. That's fine. Um, we'll figure that out. So we'll pull out the rest of the dice, and then we'll get back to it. Yeah. So I'll just show real quick how to measure. Technically, you measure from the front. So the front of the vehicle would stop at 9. So technically, it would be back at, back here. But I still think you would have had a line of sight onto that squad still. Might have been shooting through hard cover because you were shooting through this, but I think... I think you're still good. I don't think that's going to change the outcome of that. So uh, that's the way you move. You move from the front edge goes the distance and then you stop. Not from like the front to the back. Yeah. Okay, so next die. Okay, what do we got here? Americans. Americans again. This squad has come in, his last first wave squad. And uh, he's done a run move. So he's run around here. And you cannot run through any kind of terrain. So you can't run like into ruins, you can't run through trees. If you want to go into a building, you have to run into the building. That's just a weird rule. But uh, otherwise, you can run anywhere, you just can't run through any kind of dense terrain. So next die was a German. German die, okay. My last first wave unit was my Panzer IV. So this thing has a rule called Tiger Fear, which means we don't really use it, but we'll use it for the learning game. Um, it applies to Panzer IVs for some reason, no one knows why. Um, but Essentially, you have to pass an order 
if you can see this thing, I think. I'll have to double check the rule, but I think it's something like you can't do anything without passing an order unless you're shooting at it directly. So when that when that happens, we'll, we'll cover it. But uh, for now, uh, I've advanced, so I can advance move is you know you can move and fire. So he's a nine inch advance. He advanced up here next to this squad, and we're gonna fire at those guys. So they're gonna be in the open. Uh, they're you're in cover when half of your unit is in cover or behind cover. So if half of these guys were kind of obscured by this building, you would get hard cover. They're not though. They're all most of them are all in the open. So. I'm only going to have a move penalty for my gun, and then my machine gun is going to have a move and a long range. So if the range to the target is over half the distance of the total range of the weapon, you take a minus one to hit. So a machine gun is 36 inch range, and I am over 18. So moved. So my base of three. You always start at a three, and then move to be a four. And long range would be a five. If he was in any cover, light cover would be another one for a, a six. And if he was in hard cover, it would be minus two more for a seven. And a seven is only possible if you roll a six followed by another six. So let's go over the shooting rules real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire the cannon is going to be a four. And the machine gun is going to be um, five. So I missed with the cannon, sadly, but I did get two machine gun hits. So now what I need to do is try to kill you that I've hit you. So you're going to take one pin, so go ahead and put your pin marker on you. You're always going to take a pin for getting hit. More pins if you get hit with HE, but you didn't get hit with HE. So I've only got two machine gun hits, and they're regulars. So to kill a regular, you need to roll a four or higher. So I need fours here. All right, I got one guy. So one of you dies, and then you take... A pin. So go ahead and pull one guy out. You usually want to pull riflemen, not BARs. Um, that's a BAR. So riflemen are kind of your cannon fodder. You want to pull them out last if possible. Right, we've advanced, fired. So next die. So we've got a pin on them. Would have been nice to get a two inch template on them and probably take a few guys out, but uh, we missed. Germans. So what am I? I think I'm done. Yeah, I don't have anything left. I got. Uh, the only thing I have left are the stuff that are coming in reserve, which is my officer and my other squad. So I'll just put my officer down. So next die. And all you have left, so you have your officer to come in. You have your AT gun that still up, hasn't done anything. So another one of mine, this will be my squad that's in reserve, will go down. So the rest should be all yours if we're doing this, right? Okay, so you have, uh, your officer can come in. Or you can do something with that AT gun. I have his uh, 57 mil AT gun there is going to fire at the Panzer IV. So since he's firing at it, I don't think he has to worry about Tiger Fear. Um, it is going to be long range because it's all the way across the table. I think that gun has like a 72 or 60 inch range or something. But it's long enough to, to reach this. Uh, he is going to be shooting through this uh, ruin here, which is going to be hard cover. So you're going to be a three base. Minus two for the hard cover, minus one more for the range. So needing a six. So go ahead and roll, uh, just roll it right here. See if you get a six. <laughs> he did, oh man. <laughs> Beginner's luck for sure, man. <laughs> oh God, okay. So now we'll have to figure out uh, what happens. Medium AT gun has a penetration value of plus five. Uh, if you're over half range of the weapon, that reduces it by one. I'm guessing just because you lose velocity over a long range. And so it'll actually be down to a plus four penetration value. My tank on the front is a nine, armor nine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that D6 again, and you're gonna add plus four to whatever you roll. And if it equal or is greater than nine, you're gonna do some damage to it. We'll look on the chart. So it's a seven. So you're a plus four, plus three is a seven. So you do hit it, but it doesn't do any damage. But it does put a pin on it. It always puts a pin when you get hit by anything. So you missed, I mean, you did hit it, it just bounced off, but you did rattle the crew a little bit. Okay, next die. Okay, another one of yours. So you got this left. Is that the last die in the bag? Uh, no, there's one more. One more of yours, I'm assuming? No. Okay, so you have two left. Oh, it's these two. So these guys, they can just go down. They can't come until next turn. Actually, I think you brought in 
too much stuff. So we'll just put these guys uh, in reserve. Okay, so that'll be the end of the turn. His last two are going to be his reserves. They can't come in until turn three. First wave comes in, I mean turn two. First wave comes in on the very first turn, and then reserves start coming in on turn two. So that'll be the end of turn one. Move on to turn two. I'm down a squad, and I've got a pin on my uh, Panzer IV. got hit by the AT gun. And Mike's doing well. He's only lost, I think, one guy out of there, and then a, and a pin. So first die of turn two. Americans, that's you. All right, so Mike's going to smartly move this squad up. They're getting ranged in by that light howitzer. So if he doesn't move and I get the next die, I could hit them possibly on a five instead of a six this time. So his plan is to move them into these ruins, get close to that middle objective. But he does have one pin on him. So you're going to have to roll an order test. So an order test, uh, it's used to see, these are these guys have taken fire. They're kind of nervous. Um, and it depends on how well trained they are, how easy it is for them to shake that off and get moving. So uh, they're regulars, just regular troops. So they're going to be a they're going to be a leadership of nine. So you need to roll a nine minus however many pins you have. So you just got the one pin, right? Yep. Okay. So you pass. You have to roll under an eight, uh, okay. and you did. So you lose the pin, and then you start moving. So he's already started moving. We forgot the order test, but he passed it, so he'll fin he'll finish moving up. So they were uh, able to get partially into those ruins, uh, moving in towards that first, that middle objective. So next die. Germans. This squad has advanced, and we're going to fire at those guys in the ruins there. So my machine gun, German machine guns, all light machine guns are four dice, but the Germans have the special Hitler's buzzsaw rule, which gives them an extra dice on their machine guns. And then I'm going to have the two assault rifles. So assault rifles are 18 inch range and um, two shots. So I am within 18 of the guys up on the top floor there. So uh, they don't suffer a movement penalty. Any assault weapons do not suffer movement penalties. So the machine gun is going to have moved, long range, so sevens. Sevens with the machine gun. And the assault rifles are just going to be long range, hard cover. So it's going to be sixes for the red dice. And sixes for the white dice, but the white dice needs sevens because uh, it's very hard to hit. So to get a seven, you have to roll a six followed by another six. So if I get another six, the machine one machine gun will hit. I do. Wargaming rolled dice, <laughs> and then the two uh, assault rifles. Okay, so one dead with the assault rifle, and then see if I get another kill with the machine gun. No. So it's another dead uh, on those guys with the one of the weapons I hit with, and then another, and your uh, point or your pin comes back because you got hit again. So you put the pin on there and then just take out one of your kind of meat shield riflemen in the back. Or you could take one of those guys out, I guess. See a rifle? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's it. So they moved up. They put more fire on the guys, killed another one, and put a pin back on them. So that's good. The next die. Americans. American mortar back there is going to drop one onto my light howitzer. So again, always starting off with a six with indirect fire weapons. So needing a six. Oh, it's a three. So hand me that marker there and we'll put that next to here. And we'll just add one of these every time you miss and that'll just, we'll be able to count backwards from how many are there to tell us what you need to hit. All right, so that was a miss on next day. Germans. Your four has passed an order and uh, it's removed its pin. So when you pass an order, you remove a pin. So if you've only got one, then you're good to go. But he has advanced up and we're going to fire at the guys in the ruins again. So uh, move penalty and the red one's going to be my main gun. So it's going to be needing a six. I think everything's needing a six because I'm within 18 of that guy up there. So everything is needing a six for moved in hardcover. I got a hit with the machine gun. So I need a four again to kill one of these guys since they're regulars. Nope. So nothing but a pin. So we got another pin. So move that up to two. And as you can see, as the pins start adding up, it gets harder and harder for your guys to do something. But there is a way to get rid of those, which we might see soon, and that's our rally order. So next die. 
Americans. Mike is going, he was going to fire his AT gun again at the Panzer IV, but um, these guys are in the way. So let me check the Tiger Fear rule. This, it might apply here because you do have line of sight to this. So let me just check something. Tiger Fear, we just read it. You have to be within 18 of the Tiger Fear causing unit. He's not. So he's going to fire at this. So what are our modifiers here? You're always at three base, right? Three base. Okay. And then you start adding the modifiers. So you're going to be long range. So you're so back to a four. Four. And then they're in hard cover, which gives what? Minus two more, right? Two more, so six. So you're needing a six, so go for it. No, it's a miss. Okay. Good. All right. Next die. <laughs> That's good. I needed something. I need you to miss something here. Just to make a game of it. So, Americans again. All right. So, this squad has advanced around the building. And they are going to take a shot at the howitzer. Their, their uh, line of sight's blocked to the gun, machine gun by this rock pile. But uh, he is within 24 with two rifles, and then he's got his two BARs at the front. So it's going to be two shots per BAR and two shots per rifle. So you're going to get four shots. And you moved. So you're, uh, you're three, you're moved. Actually, no, Americans don't have a movement penalty. So they have a special rule. They don't suffer the minus one when they move. So it's just going to be long range, hard cover. So you're needing sixes to hit the howitzer. And... That's a nothing. Not even a not even a pin. But they are coming around the corner up there and they are gonna start moving towards my objective, which is very lightly defended at the moment. So next day. Germans. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bring in some reserves. Um, I need to get something over here. So I have a squad in reserve. I'm gonna try to bring them in behind these trees. So this is dense terrain that can't be seen through. So they're safe back here from any kind of direct fire. The mortar, however, could still probably land one on them. Um, but, so, uh, reserves, so first wave, like I mentioned, they come in automatically on turn one. Once you get to turn two and things start coming in from reserve, you have to pass an order test similar to if you're trying to pass an order with a pin or something. So they're regular, so they need a nine, and it's minus one uh, for coming in from reserve, unless you're American. They have another rule that you don't suffer the minus one for coming in from reserve. So I need to roll an 8 on these two dice for that squad to come in. I do. I roll a 6. So when I say an 8, I mean 8, eight or under. under. Eight, or, 8 or less, yeah. Okay, so I'll bring a squad in. The squad has run in, and as I mentioned the mic off camera, and I'll just mention it here for anyone watching. This is a learning game. Uh, it's good to remember the ranges of the weapons, various weapons that you have in your squad. I have three different, four different ranges in this squad alone. So. I know my uh, assault rifles are an 18 inch range. I have an SMG sergeant with an 18, a 12 inch range. So I'm going to try to keep all those guys at the front. And then my machine gun's got a 36 inch range and then my rifles have a 24 inch range. So it's always good to try to keep in mind what weapons you have, what their ranges are, and position them in the squad accordingly. So, uh, next die. Germans. Oh, it was another German die. Okay. Howitzer. Uh, I can't really move because once you place a like a wheel or a weapon like this in artillery, you can't move it. So it's pretty much stuck, just rotating in place. So it's mortar bait now. Um, but I am going to fire another indirect fire shot at that squad coming in towards that center objective. So they move, so I have to start over again. So I'm meeting a six. Oh man, a five. Okay. All right, next day. So I'm trying to hit a moving target. He's hitting a target that is not going to move. <laughs> so it'll be easier for him. So uh, another American day. Sherman has advanced and he is going to fire at the howitzer. So you moved. So you go from a three to a four and I'm in hard cover. So you're up to back to a six. Oh, it's close. This guy's getting hammered. He's got mortars coming in. He's got HE <laughs> shells coming in. Uh, you still got the machine guns though. Don't forget that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you got two machine guns. So you have a... Uh, um, coax, which you can't fire because you fired the main gun, but you have a whole gun and you have the one on top. So if you fire the one on top, you're considered open top, which means I could put pins on you with rifles and stuff, but I don't think... Actually, I could fire my machine gun at you and maybe put a pin on you. But if you're not afraid of one pin, go for it. So you're going to get five shots. So do you want to be open topped is the question. 
which means I could put pins on you with my machine gun. No, if don't. you don't go open top, I can't do anything to you. Yeah, no, I don't want to do anything. Okay, so then uh, you'll just fire the whole gun, and then you don't have to worry about it. So it'll be five shots at these guys, at the cannon. So Five dice. Yep, five shots. So a shot, each shot is one dice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's needing... Yeah, that's not going to do it. If you add them all together, you might get one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the Sherman came up and whiffed this time. But hey, he, he's got his uh, hit in or, or already. So next die. Americans again. Mike has brought uh, his last squad from reserve in over there. Just coming down the middle of the road here. And the next die. Next die is a German die. And what do I have left? I have my machine gun and my officer left. I've moved my MG42 uh, up onto this platform here. So next die. I should have one left. You should have one left, right? Yeah, I think so. Two in there? Yep. Okay, so that's you. So your last one is your officer. So you're going to have to roll another order test to see if he comes in needing a nine. He just rolled a nine exactly when that squad came in. <laughs> so that American rule paid off. Six. And the six, he'll yeah. come in. So, uh, Mike's officer is just advanced up there by that wheat or uh, haystack. And then the last dice is mine, which is my officer. And we'll see if he comes in. He does it on seven. So I'll bring him in, and then we'll move on to the next turn. My officer has uh, run in here. And on to the next turn. So we're on turn three now. Yep. And first die of turn three will be. Germans. First thing I'm going to do, my howitzer is firing at that squad. They haven't moved, so now I'll be hitting them on a five this time. Since he hasn't moved, I'm shooting at the same target. Uh, there is something you could do, though. You could go down. If you go down and I hit you, it, it cuts in half your casualties. But if you do that, you can't do anything else for the rest of the, rest game. Of the game. I mean the rest yeah. of the turn, turn, not the game. Yeah. So you're taking a, it's a, it's a risk. Yeah, it's do you think I'll roll a five? Okay, so you're not going to go down. All right, he wants to move the squad, which doesn't, it's not a bad idea. Needing a five. Let's see if I can roll a five. Oh, no. The gamble pays off. All right, next die. That's the Americans. So he has two pins, so that means you've got to pass an order, which is a little bit harder than the one pin. So you're a nine. You drop down to seven, so you need to roll a seven on two dice or less. Oh, you do. You just make it. You just make it. So that'll drop you down to one pin, and then you can move. Squad has just advanced further into those ruins there. American. Another American die. Uh, the squad that was back there has just run up down the road towards that middle objective there. Next die. <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta rebase these trees. They're too easy to fall over. Uh, Americans again. So the can, uh, AT oh. gun is getting. Oh, the Sherman. Yeah. Oh Sherman. boy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can fire. So you got your uh, coax. I mean, you got your uh, hole gun you can shoot, and your top gun you can shoot, or and your cannon. So, uh, cannon at the howitzer. Okay, hold on a second. In, uh, you didn't move this time. No. Nope. And you're not short. You're not long range. So you're just the just the plus two, minus two for the hard cover. Hard cover. So needing a five. five. Oh no! It is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. So that's a two inch template on the howitzer. So that'll get you two of those guys. Um, uh, the gun shield is not going to play a fa be any part in this because of the direction the shot's coming from. So you're going to roll two dice. And you're going to need twos because there are regulars at four, and your um, cannon is uh, plus two. So that's two dead. So I'm down to one guy in the howitzer now. And roll another die for me for uh, the number of pins. So this is the D3 again. So it'll be one pin. Okay, so now I have to pass a morale test because I lost over 50% of the guys in one round of shooting. They're regulars, so it's a uh, nine minus one for the one pin. It's gonna take me down to an eight. We do pass. So I am uh, 
down to one guy in the howitzer with one pin. Okay, and you still got your machine gun. So you can shoot at the, you can pick a different target. You don't have to shoot the same thing. So if you want, you could shoot that, uh, the whole machine gun at the machine gun, or you could just try to finish off that uh, gun crew. Just finish off the gun crew. Okay, and I think, I think we're with, you were with an 18 here. I believe. Yeah. All right, so uh, you're not long range, so it's gonna be fives again with uh, five dice. Five dice. Yep. Just for, just hardcover. Uh, so you got two hits, okay? So roll those two hits again, and you're needing fours. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. So he's uh, wiped out the light howitzer. So we'll set that dice over there with the other one. This will come off. Okay. So I've lost two units now. I've lost the squad and my howitzer. It's looking bleak for the Germans already. Next, uh, next die. Yeah, he might be able to take my objective here. Another American die. Okay. The squad has advanced uh, up here, and they're going to put a bunch of fire. The whole squad minus the sergeant with the SMG is going to fire on this uh, machine gun. So it'll be long range, hard cover, no movement penalty. Needing sixes. I see one. Oh, there's one slip back here. So two hits. Okay, so roll me two dice to see if you kill anyone. It's needing fours. Uh, nope. Oh. Nothing but a pin. So there's a pin on the machine gun now. But they are advancing and firing like uh, good Americans would. All right, next guy. That's Germans. My Panzer IV has advanced up, and we're going to fire the coax and the whole gun at them. Uh, moved in hard cover. I'm not quite in point blank yet, so I'm going to be needing sixes. God, that was a horrible. Is there any set? I really messed that up. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to land them in that little spot, but they kind of fell out of my hand. Okay, so nothing. Not even a... 12 dice, I didn't get a single six. That is really bad. All right, next die. All I wanted was a pin. <laughs> but well, if I roll 12 dice, I got to get a six. Okay, another American die. The American mortar. Um, its original target is dead, but he's going to shift the target to my machine gun. Using a six. Oh man, oh, I man. saw it there for a second. <laughs> it was rolling. Good thing it stopped rolling. Okay, next die. Uh, Germans. Germans. Squad is advanced up. We're going to again fire at those guys in the ruins. So the machine guns and the assault rifles are needing sixes um, because long range, hard cover, uh, and no movement penalty for the assault rifles. But not long range, but hardcover and move for the machine guns. So sixes. Okay, we got two. They're better than the. Uh, and then sevens for the rifles. Nope. So two hits. So you're going to take another pin there. And then one dead. So there's a rule called, I believe it's called exceptional damage. If you roll a six when you are t rolled to kill somebody, if you roll the, you get to roll that again. If you roll another six, you pick the guy who dies. No, but that's a good way you can take out machine guns or, or leaders and stuff like that. Uh, but that did not happen. So you just uh, lose a guy and you take another pin, and we'll be back for the next die. Next die, Germans. Germans. Yeah, that one's yeah, so I got my machine gun. I got this squad and then my officer. <laughs> My machine gun, uh, he'll fire um, if I can pass a order. Or, this wasn't the turn he moved up there, was it? Uh, I think that was last turn. He doesn't have an order dice by him. See, this is why you want to put order dice by these guys. <laughs> so you don't have these questions. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so he does pass. So we're going to go ahead and fire MG42 at uh, that squad over there in the open. Machine gun, uh, we're in normal range. So no modifier. So you're always. This is just a straight base three shot. There's no long range. There's no cover. Need threes. So I missed two. So I got four hits. 
and I'm needing fours to take them down. So two dead. And I got that one six, so there's a possible, possible exceptional damage. No. But it is a pin on them and two dead. <laughs> the Americans are up to five dead. And another American die. So Mike's going to have his uh, AT gun and again fire up at the machine gun. Even a six. Oh, oh. it was close. Scared him. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. All right, next die. American right, again. again. American officer just ran up behind here. So next die. Should be two left. Yeah, should be two, on you. Both of mine. Okay, so my officer. So these guys, I'm just going to leave them there. So they're going to go down. And then I got one left, which is my officer. Man. I really don't know what to do with him. Um, he needs to help either defend this one or try to rush that one at the end. So he'll just stay here for now. So that'll be the end of this turn. So we'll gather him up and move on to turn four. All right, first die of turn four, Americans. He's going to start off with the Sherman. Uh, he's going to fire at the machine gun, I think. So you're needing a five. Let me think if I want to go down. I think I will. So can you pull a dice out for me? I'm going to go down. The machine gun's going to go down. I can't lose him right now. Plus he's got that mortar coming in. Um, so down a down dice, a down order will give him a minus two to hit. Anyone a minus two to hit that shoots at them for the rest of this turn. Um, so he's a three plus two for the hard cover. So he's a five, and now that I went down, it's two more. So you're a seven. So you need to roll six followed by six to hit anything. Nope. Okay, so you missed that one. Okay. Uh, you can change targets if you like, or you don't have to shoot at the same target with the with the machine guns. Uh, you could retarget the officer. You can see him. I think that would be long range, hard cover. So that'd be sevens as well. Seven as well. So Everything sevens. Just go back to the gun okay, gun. so you got your five machine gun shots at these guys, and we got that top machine gun still. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, if you don't want to shoot, be open top. You don't have to shoot it. Five. Yep. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay, so the Sherman whiffed because they went down. Um, all right, so next die. Americans again. I was gonna try to advance. Um, they can. They have the two pins again. So you started at nine. You minus two. So you need a seven on two dice. Oh, they fail. Oh. So they go down. So you got to take their order dice and put them down. But all the benefits of being down, you know, intentionally, like I did with the machine gun, still apply even if you go down it unintentionally. Yeah. So if, when I shoot at them, or if I were to shoot at them again, I'm minus two more. Minus two more. Yeah. So next die. <laughs> Americans again. Okay. Throw at the machine gun for the second time. Needing a five now. Oh, oh, no, it's a hit. Ah, well, you can hit all of them. But uh, you will, we'll say you hit one, because you have to subtract, uh, round in half, and I think you round down. So it's one guy, needing a two. So you oh. kill a guy, and then you do D3 pins, though. So roll another D6 for me. And tell me, go ahead and roll a dice, and we'll see how many pins you get. So that'll be three pins. So the D3 is, remember it's one, two is one, three, four is two, five, six is three Sorry. pins. Okay. So you just did three pins with one shot. That's the beauty of those HE weapons. So they're, yeah, they're screwed. <laughs> All right, next, next die. It's getting pretty thin over here on my objective side. Everywhere it's getting pretty thin. I got, I still got these guys over here though. American Another today. American a day? Okay. This squad wants to go in the building. So to go into a building, you have to give a run order. So there's no way to advance in a building and shoot out in the same turn. That's just the rules. I guess balance. I have no idea why. But to get out of a building, you can run or advance. But to go in, you have to run. But first, you have to pass an order because uh, right. you have a uh, pin on you. That's right. So uh, you're a nine. You need an eight because you have the one pin. Oh, oh. they fail. 
They fail again. All right, so he's had two squats fail orders, so they're going to go down. Okay, uh, next die. Yeah, the old one pin order fail. All right, using those dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't roll those work. Another one of yours. Damn. So Mike's put his anti tank gun on ambush. So ambush is a way to fire your stuff out of sequence. So since he's on ambush, now anything that moves into his line of sight with a clear line of fire, he can spring the ambush and fire at me. So if my Panzer IV were to drive up here, he would get to take a shot at me. So that'll keep me from driving up here. Because I know it's on ambush, and it would be stupid to just drive up there and get blasted. <laughs> the way you're rolling. <laughs> the way you're rolling. Uh, the last couple of rolls. Yeah, you haven't had good luck in your last couple of order dice, or uh, order checks, but... Um, Whatever. <laughs> so next die is... Hey, it's a German die. Uh, this squad here is run up there. They're down. There's the officer back there. Not too worried about him. But I'm going to try to make a play for his objective. So another, <laughs> another American die. The American officer is, uh, did a tactical redeployment. Or a retreat, as we call it. <laughs> back there. <laughs> Uh, he was right here. He's like, oh, I see some Germans. We're going to go back that way. So he's back there now. So next day, behind that haystack. Should be on you. Is it on me? I think so. Yeah, it's all on you. How many are in there? Four rounds. Four? Yep. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. Do I have four left? Oh, the one. He's down. Two. I should only have three left. The squad is advanced up into the woods. We're going to put some fire down on that squad there. So the machine gun uh, just moved normal range. Even, let's say fours. Uh, two hits. Okay, the two assault rifles are going to be just long range, so also fours. So that's three more hits. And then I have the three rifles. And those are needing moved long range fives, so one more hit. So that's six hits. So another pin for sure. And I need fours. Uh, only I got two dead. So a pin and two more down. And then I have my officer will go next. He's got some machine guns, can't do anything. He'll just go down. Um, and the last thing is going to be my Panzer IV. So he's got that gun on ambush. I can't really drive through there. I mean, I could, but I'd be taking my chances. I think I might turn. Yeah, I'm going to turn and, and maybe try to hose those guys down. Panzer IV has turned. So um, vehicles have different uh, uh, rates of turning. So a track vehicle can do 190 degree turn and move. A wheel vehicle can do two. Uh, but I did my 190 and I just came this way. And I'm going to fire on them. But he could spring his ambush because he, he is more than an inch away from these guys now, which means he can safely shoot at the tank. So you're within 30, which is within normal range for a 60 inch weapon. So, but you, I will get hard cover, so needing a five. Five. Yep, needing a five to hit the tank on the side. This is a real risky move on my point. Ah, uh, oh. pays off. Okay. So I'm going to fire the coax and the hole gun again at those guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just roll twice. No, oh, I got six more dice here. All right, so coax, so I moved. That's the only, um, wait, have those guys gone this turn? Uh-uh. They haven't. So you still got a dice in the bag? I guess so. Oh yeah, I guess I do. Okay, so one of those was yours. Alright, well that explains it. <laughs> I thought it was. Okay, so, but oh, it's a good thing I'm going to fire it then. So we probably should have been pulling dice this whole time. But we were under the belief that the rest were mine. Yeah. But oh well. Oh, well. Um, just a move, so I'm needing fours. One, two, three. <laughs> Man, that is a crappy roll. Look at all those misses. Only four hits. Um... I got two kills though, and a pin. So you got a pin, then I got another one of these. No. So two kills and a pin with the coax and the whole gun, which sucks. And I just <laughs> went, all of, all of mine went, so you got those guys left. That was a mistake that we made. Past the uh, 
order. I rolled a double one, which would be a rule called insane heroism, which I think you like move, remove all your pins or something. <laughs> if you had a whole bunch and you passed them with double ones, you would get to pull a bunch of pins. So they're pin free now. Yeah, you pulled the two guys out so they can go ahead and just act as normal. And Mike has uh, done another tactical redeployment back here just to get out of, I guess, out of the line of sight of that tank. <laughs> and move on to turn five. All right, here we go. So it's still seven dice to my five. Americans. Before he goes, I forgot I was going to leave these guys down. So there's two orders you can leave down between turns. You can leave an ambush order on the unit, or you can leave a down order. Yeah, but you already fired your ambush, so. Oh, that's right. Um, so I'm going to leave this down order on the machine gun. And if you leave a down order, you get to remove D3 pins. So I remove all my pins. So I'm pin free, but I am down. So that means I can't do anything the rest of this turn. So go ahead and do whatever you were going to do. I start off with the Sherman, and it's going to fire everything at these guys, but they're going to go down. So pull me another dice out of the bag. <laughs> so my dice are dwindling here. I've got three dice left in the bag. But I knew that was going to happen. Um, didn't do as much damage as I hoped. Uh, no, it won't be sevens. I think it's sixes because they're not. This is so. This is soft cover, so it's only minus one. So it'll be three, two for the down, one for the soft cover. So six. Sixes, yep. So firing the main gun. Oh crap! The six. Oh damn! But I am down. So it looks like you can get uh, four. So that'll be two of them. So you get two of them. So go ahead and roll those, I guess, now. Even twos. So one, one dead. Man. Okay, so go ahead and roll your machine gun, your five machine gun shots. One, two, three, four, five. And these will also be needing sixes. One. Got one, okay, so that'll need a four to kill, since they're regulars. Oh. So another. So you got two dead. But again, it's the D3 pins that are going to get me. So, go ahead and uh, see how many pins you get. Just one. Okay, I got lucky. So, one pin. Okay, next die. <laughs> so, the Sherman is, again, he's doing a lot of work tonight. He wiped out one squad on the very first shot of the game. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> uh, Americans That's again. Right. Got one extra guy. Yeah, he, the spotter thought he was coming. He got <laughs> very motivated. He got denied. He's back where he started though. And then the squad's up here now. Uh, they ran. So he's just getting up here, getting in position to jump on the subjective at the end. Next day. Another American die. No surprise there. I only got three dice in there. So, right. so this squad has shot across here and it run. So he's got two squads here now, like right here. And they can go either way to that one. They can go to this one. Yeah. It's not looking good. So next die. Germans. Hey, the Germans get to do something <laughs> fine now. Um, okay. The squad that was here, uh, we're charging. The mortar. So this hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game is very brutal, very decisive. Someone wins and someone loses. There's no sticking around through multiple turns fighting. Someone's going home right now. So um, you have to charge someone that you can see, and I, I could see them from there. So and you have to do a run order. So you, I did a 12-inch run. Uh, you can charge through rough terrain, even though you can't run 12 inches through terrain. You can still give them a run order and just move six. So it has to be a run order, you can't shoot or anything after. Um, so you get one dice per guy, and if you were attacking someone in the open, you get to go first, and what they get to swing back with whatever's left. Now, uh, if this was a squad, since I started more than six inches away, he would, and he if he had not activated, he would get to shoot at me on the way in. But mortars can't do that. Um, artillery in general, maybe, I don't know. I know a mortar can't. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to have um, one per guy, and there's a rule called tough fighters. If you have an assault weapon, a pistol, a assault rifle, an SMG, a shotgun, something like that, 
you have a rule called Tough Fighter. And Tough Fighters roll, you have to roll their dice separately. So they'll be the red dice. So if I get a hit, I get to roll the Tough Fighter ones again. And a hit is your, you don't roll the hit. I shouldn't even say that. You just roll the kill. So they're, they're regulars, we're regulars. So every four I get is a dead mortar crew. So we'll start with the Tough Fighters. Uh, they didn't get a single one. Oh, this is going to be... If I lose this battle, I am going to be very upset. Uh, no, they're dead. So I got uh, six, a five, and a four. So that's three dead. There's only three guys. They're just out of here. So he doesn't even get to fight back. Now, if he was behind a wall or if he was in the woods, then we would have fought simultaneous. He would have still lost and he would have still died by losing three guys, but he still would have at least got to swing at me three times. But shooting at someone in the open, that's it. So when you win a combat, you get to consolidate. You get a D6 consolidation move. So we'll see how far I get to go. Three inches. So we'll just uh, head up here to the objective. Okay, and that'll do it. So I'm on his objective. He's getting close to mine. And we'll, uh, next die. And take one of your dice out for your mortar, by the way, uh, since you lost a unit. Finally, I took one of your guys down. All right. <laughs> Next die. Germans. I am going to fire at the Sherman. So I can see the front, like, quarter of it. So we're going to give him hard cover since he's behind this building. Uh, so I'm needing a five to hit the Sherman with the Panzer IV. Damn. <laughs> Damn you, Wargaming World dice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's a mess. All right, next die. That was too bad. Americans. Uh, we missed the roll, but he did hit my tank with his uh, AT gun. Oh, uh, So that's, uh, what did I say, a plus five? Mm. Let me check. Yeah, so it's a plus five. So he hit the Panzer IV on the side. So uh, every, every anti-tank weapon has a base penetration value, in this case a 5, uh, but you'll add 1 to that if you're hitting it from the side, and you'll add 2 to it if you happen to hit any vehicle from the rear. So he went from a 5 to a 6. My tank's a 9, so you're rolling this again and adding it to 6, and if you get to 9 or higher, you do some damage. Oh, oh uh, no, you, you yeah. didn't. It's no. only a pin. Yeah. You only got an 8. Even from the side, so it's just a pin on the uh, Panzer IV. Dang. I got lucky there. All right, next day. I think I'm down to my officer. It's the last thing I have left. <laughs> I think that's all I have left too. How do we stop three die though? So that's oh, you. That's me, yeah. Your officer. Wow, um, I think your officer is the last thing left. What do you have? Just your officer. Just my officer is the last thing I have left. How do we stop two in here though? Um. I don't know. We have an extra one. Squad that was in the ruins has passed their order. They're down to one pin. So pins, uh, they also are a negative to hit when you're rolling. So any pin you have is another minus one. So uh, four of them are going to be, or five of them are going to be within point blank, which is going to cancel the pin. They'll be hitting on threes. So you got four hits with the four threes. Hits. That's yeah. the BARs and the rifle, a couple rifles. And then you had uh, the SMG and then three rifles at... Oh, and then one more, or two more, two more shots, two more shots, two more shots. Okay, so these are all hits. You got three, eight hits. Uh oh. Okay, so roll those again. Needing fours to kill. You did put a pin. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't wipe me out here. Four dead? Four dead. Oh man, that means I'm going to have to take a morale test too. Which might be the thing that gets me off the objective here. So I'll take off uh, this dude, this dude, this dude, and this dude. Oh man, that was a good roll. Okay, I got to take a morale test at one pin. Oh damn, they're gone. Oh, that's the end of the game. I can't possibly win now. <laughs> I just got driven off the freaking objective. 
by a morale test. Uh, okay. Is there any more dice? Yeah, I think you got one more. One more. At the end, so I, yeah, that sucked. I was hoping <laughs> to hold that. I should have, I should have fired it. I was gonna fire at them, but I think you still would have passed the order. You rolled like a four or something. So even with another pin, but that would have been minus one more to hit. Keep it down on those guys? No, no, I'm not going to keep it down on them. Um, I might need them. I need them to assault and take those guys out. So my officer just moved up into here. So we're either going to try to hold this objective or rush out there to contest that one. And I'm down to my tank, my officer. I should have four dice in the bag now. Um, yeah, I'm down to four. I'm six. Here we go. German die. Oh no, American <laughs> uh, I needed the German die so I could charge and wipe yeah, them out. That's my plan. Is that somebody get it so I could wipe them out? Because if I could wipe them out, then you would have had to choose to go here. Well, actually, those guys could rush and get within three. Yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Uh. I got one pin on them. I'm fire against them. So you're firing on them. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Man, you're gonna be hitting on fours. Point. So you're. Threes, fours for point blank. I mean, twos for point blank, and then back to threes for uh, soft cover. So we'll count the shots. I have uh, these guys here all point blank, and even threes because of the soft cover. So that's four hits. And then uh, you're going to have, what I say? Three more. Three more. Yeah, needing fours. Uh, I think. <laughs> so one more. So you got five hits. Yeah, I didn't go down. I can't go down. I need these guys to either try to rush the objective or do something. So if there's anyone left. Okay, so uh, yeah, roll those to see if you get some kills. Needing fours. Four. Two, three, <laughs> <Man>. four. <laughs> and then roll those two sixes again. You might be able to pick someone good. No. Nope. Four dead. Yep. Oh man, okay. Shit. Okay, I'll take the machine gun out. Well, I'm left to just with my NCO now. <laughs> <laughs> One guy with an SMG, that's it. Okay, well. And two pins. So I gotta take a two pin morale test now. Okay. Uh, needing a. Uh, yeah, that'll pass. Five. Okay, I needed a seven. So he's still hanging in here. One dude <laughs> with two pins. Alright, next die. Germans. Germans. Um, <laughs> my, well, my tank. Okay. How about my tank? We'll try to pass an order. Uh, yeah, he fails. So when vehicles pass an order, I think they're supposed to like drive backwards a move. Yeah, and then go down. Well, without him, I really have no hope now. All right, next die. Well, I got to my machine gun. My officer left. Americans. All right. All right, so these guys passed their order to pin free and they've run and they've got within three of the objective here. So they got the middle objective. Yeah, I really. Next die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could maybe. Very slim, but. I mean, there's a chance. Americans again. Yeah. So you still got that Sherman out there. Yep. But he's pretty much blocked by all this. Yep. Hmm. So he's gonna have the Sherman fire. Um, he's firing over them, but they're up here, so it's that's cool. Uh, so you're firing the main gun. That'll be just uh, five for hard cover. Oh, miss. Nice. And then you got your five machine gun shots. Needing the same thing. Fives, I believe, since you're within 18, I think. So five two, shots three, there. Four, five. Uh, two hits, two okay. Hits. Four is to kill. I only got two guys left in there. How many? Uh, two. That's right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're dead. <laughs> so, gunned down by the uh, whole machine gunner. Okay. Um, next die. <laughs> Believe it or not, I still have a chance. I don't know. It's very slim, but... Germans? Okay. I'm going to try to pass an order for, with this guy here. 
Have they, they, they went? Yeah, they just went. Oh, no, that's right. That's that was the right. tank, Sorry, yeah. Right. So my NCO over here with his two pins, <laughs> foo bars. Foo bars. <laughs> Uh, so a foobar is, if there's enemy within a certain amount of distance to you, you have to roll to see what happens. And I think that one is he just runs back 12, which essentially ends my any chance I had. So that'll be, that'll be the game. We'll come back and we'll wrap it up. So we're going to wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to concede because any chance I had died when this guy foobarred. Um, my only hope was to run him over here. Hope they don't kill them, but they would still advance. They would have to advance, which means they might not even get to it. So, really, if he would have lived, well, I still got these guys, but I was I was gonna have to have to send them over here to contest this one, and have him contest that one. So I can't contest both now, and that was the only way I could probably get a draw. But when this guy ran off, it that was the end of the game. So even if I could contest that one or this one with them. He's still going to win by either one or two points. So, so it was a good, good game. You had a uh, good job, Mike, on that one. Thanks, man. It's, uh, had some really good rolls in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that first roll that with first the Sherman. That roll, man, with the Sherman took out that. Oh, man. That's why I did it right there. That was rough. Yeah, I lost a squad at the very beginning of the game from that Sherman. Uh, he blasted them with the HE, the COA, or the whole gun. They failed their morale test, and they're out of there. And then that forced me to commit another squad over here. I was hoping that squad, the, the machine gun, or the machine gun and the howitzer could hold this. And then I could send everything else up this way, but it just didn't work out like that, so. I held it. <laughs> so you're gonna win by, uh, well, one or two. Um, but either way, you won, you did good. Uh, I think you picked up on the game. You know, as we went, you were getting it more and more. So it's a pretty simple game. Uh, it's got a lot of tactical depth to it, but uh, it's simple enough to pick up as Mike's not a, a miniature war gamer at all, but he did really well in this game. So, um, yeah, and that'll be it for this game. Uh, let us know what you guys think of this. I know it's a second learning game, teaching game we've done. We'll do another one too. Uh, we'll have Jessica come back again for another uh, teaching game. She was supposed to be here for this one, but uh, it didn't work out uh, this, this time. So she'll be here for the next one. Um, and maybe, maybe you can break out this winter terrain again. Really cool. Uh, I love the winter boards. They look really awesome. And uh, thanks to Joe at the Ogre's Den. And thanks again to Corey for at Cigar, Cigar Box for sending us this mat as well. So with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it uh, call the game. And as usual, check out our Facebook group. Uh, check out our Patreon page as well if you want to see what we're doing here behind the scenes. Um, and support the channel. Help us... Uh, you know, grow and get better and have more terrain and stuff. That's always appreciated by us. Um, we really appreciate all the patrons that we have. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead, go ahead and say thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.